파란 하늘에 Please select preferred service. You have selected charge transportation card. Please place the transportation card. South Korea. I'm so so excited. I'm currently in Seoul and in this video we're also heading to Busan in a couple of days and then next week's video I'll do a whole three days solo in Seoul again so I'm gonna touch as many bases as possible. There is so much to do here. There's so many cafes, sightseeing, shopping, nightlife. I'm gonna vlog everything and I've heavily based my day-to-day -day itineraries on like the districts and the neighborhood. Today though we're exploring Myeongdong. I'm currently in the Oyo Hostel branch 3 I believe. It's a super small hostel room but it does have everything you need and it's super central in Myeongdong. This is the outdoor of our hotel but we're gonna explore this way. <laughs> It's literally been five minutes and I can already tell how good the shopping is, but we're doing that later. We're going to a cafe right now. whole bunch of art installations around the place. I'm just going around the cafe. Okay, it's time to go shopping, do a bit of shopping. See what I get. This jacket is fifty dollars. I didn't bring my black puffer just in case because I knew I could find a cool one like this. So I'm gonna get this. We've come into the 12 story Daiso. 12 story. It's street food time. Thank you. Thank you. Got some beef steak. So good. Wow. Wow, look at that melt. Wow. 
I finally got my hands on some BTS albums. to the Songdonggu area which includes the popular neighborhood of Songsu. So. First of all, the fact that there's snow build up makes this experience 10 times better. It is so nice. I thought the trees would be a lot higher, but it's not. It's like a forest in the middle of the city and you can see the skyline. Oh, straight to my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> hey, this. <laughs> Red. <laughs> I love the snow. All right, we're done with Soul Forest. We're splitting up, right? I'm going to a cafe called Tongue Planet. Hey. Nowadays the pain follow me, yeah. deal with trauma privately. Yeah. I don't want to be a burden, I handle things defiantly. Okay. Spend a decade searching it smells so good right now. I think this street in Songsu has a bunch of pastries. It's so nice. I've just come across this is so cool it's a photo booth but it's different that's so cool I'm gonna take some photos anyways let's do some window shopping this place is so cool as you can see it's super industrial it's known as the Brooklyn of Seoul because of it's like a mixture of industrial but hip places. Later today I'm actually getting my color analysis done which is a very popular thing here in Korea which I'm sure you guys know about. One dried persimmon? Yes. This is dried persimmon and I think it it's in mochi, I don't know, I could be wrong. Mm. I 
I don't know what this place is, but it smells really good and there's a massive lineup every time I walk past, so I'm gonna suss it out. I think it's salt bread because it says flour, butter, salt. Yay! If this isn't the best bread I've ever tasted, then I don't know what is. No wonder why there was a lineup. Well, it's fluffy on the inside, crunchy on the outside, buttery, salty. Mm. <laughs> okay, it's time for my color analysis. I wonder how this is gonna go. It's in this building here. Do you see the UC more defined mm. Mm. This, one? Mm. Um, yeah. this gives natural contour into your face, mm. so it makes your facial feature more defined. <laughs> <laughs> pops out too much. <laughs> too much, right? Wow, was that? <laughs> so these are the colors that would look good mm -hmm. on me. Mm -hmm. I think blue is a nice color for you as well. Mm. Mm. 이게 가을 뮤트고요. These are autumn mute mm. colors. 음, 여기는 딥톤 대볼게요. I'll also compare it with deep tone colors. 음, 그래서 1번은 가을 딥이고요. 2번이 가을 뮤트. So first is autumn deep, second would be autumn mute. Okay. 그래서 This 여름에 밝게 입고 싶으시면 yes. 이렇게 쓰시면 되는 거고 내가 어두운 컬러를 필요할 때는 딥톤을 쓰시면 돼요. So you can go for autumn mute if you want lighter colors. If you want darker colors, you can go for autumn deep. Mm -hmm. We will check whether you suit the glowy texture or more matte soft texture. Mm -hmm. Glowy. Glowy one. Soft matte one. Soft matte one. Soft one's better. So it's low contrast. Medium level, high oh, contrast. It should be high for you. High contrast. Mm -hmm. 맞아요. 오늘 어두운 거 입으면 밝은 좋고요. So with darker top, maybe lighter bottom. Oh, really? 그래서 메이크업 할 때도 라인이나 뭐 아이브로 이런 거 래쉬 강조해 주시는 거 좋아요. When you wear makeup as well, it's better to accentuate your eyebrows, mm -hmm. eyelines, or mm -hmm. eyelashes. Okay. So pretty colors, autumn deep colors. I like these colors. Oh, I'm happy. happy. <laughs> I can't highlight. Colors, you can do the highlight, but not fully. No. No. <laughs> 그리고 오렌지나 레드, 카키 좋아요. 이 블러쉬도 너무 좋아요. 굿. 아, 음, 말타는 것도 oh. 쓰셔도 될것 같아요. Yeah, you can use my darker as well. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so my color analysis is done. I'm gonna show you guys the results. First of all, such a good experience. They had a translator for me, and both of them were so lovely. That was Nouvelle Image, and the way I booked was through Kakao Talk. So you just download the Kakao Talk app, and then they'll message you. You don't have to um, put a deposit in or anything. So it was like honestly the easiest booking that I made. But this is my color palette. It is autumn deep and autumn nude. The funny thing about it is these are the colors I would wear anyways. I don't wear a lot of colors, but if I'm gonna wear a color, it's one of these. It's a muted tone. So basically, any cool tone colors would make me look pale and bright bright colors would reflect too much on my face whenever you swatch a green color the green would show on my face so it was such a cool experience and then they also gave me this booklet with all the information and they've like ticked my colors so autumn warm autumn deep how bright i should go better with glossy or matte and apparently gold jewelry suits me the best and the session costs 150,000 won so around 100 to 200 dollars but one more cafe stop before we leave
Okay, we're taking the next train to Sochogu. The train system has been so easy. There are a lot of like transfers that you have to do from one line to the other, but the signs make it so easy. As long as you have neighbor map and a team money card, you're good to go. This is the Han River, I've got the bumper bridge in front of me and this little man-made island is called Sam Servit. I wanted to come here for sunset and it's really nice. Also, it's so cold now, so I've got my heat warmers. One thing I've noticed about Seoul is that it's actually a really flat city, even though it's huge. It's just so spread out that like the horizon is really Little did you know there is so much happening in those areas. I'm walking the Bumpo Bridge. This is underneath and we're gonna head to Itawan which is on this side. It was like an hour walk from Bumpo Bridge but we've made it to Itawan. And I found my brother! I think this is my first proper meal in two days. I got a kimchi chige. And my brother got some pork. And the rice looks so good. I don't know what it is about this pillow, but it's literally the most comfiest thing. We are in the Gangnam district today. I just got my 15 step scalp treatment, which is super viral here in South Korea. Honest opinion is you don't have to get it, but if you do, it's a good experience. And something relaxing to do if you've got like a spare two hours on you. So I'm gonna go to a cafe right now. It's called New Day. The thing about Gangnam, what I've realized is it's so big and everything is super spread out. So I'm gonna have to take a bus or a train or something to get to all these different spaces. So 
it's super commercial here. There's like business after business and it feels a little bit more bougier. booked at Muse Clinic right up there. actually feels amazing. The clinics here are very clinical in the sense of it felt, felt like a hospital low-key. Um, it's like not a spa-like experience but I think that's very common in like Korea like the beauty industry is so fast-paced here. My face feels amazing so no complaints. <laughs> okay back on the trains guess where I'm going next I'm excited. The old big hit building. Ah! Filipino writing, Mahal Kita. So funny. Oh, another one. Mahal Kita. And then I believe, I may be wrong, but I think down here is that restaurant's really popular where they used to go to as trainees all the time. It's called Yujong Restaurant. Anyways, that was my priority here in Gangnam. There is still so much to see. I didn't even get to see Starfield Coex Mall and the Starfield Library. Gangnam is just so big and there's so much to see. So if you're planning on exploring here, I feel like you kind of need a longer day. But right now we're going to Mapuku, which house is Hongdae. vibes are so good in this place I'm super hungry right now I'm gonna meet with my brother in like an hour so maybe I'll see if there's any kimbap in the 7-eleven to the Nike and Hongdae and we can customize some goodies. Ending the night with some ice cream and churros. I don't know why I got ice cream when it's so cold. <laughs> Bye Hongdae, I'll be back in a couple of days. We're heading to Busan today. I'm excited. Um, I'm not done with Seoul yet. I will be coming back, so we still have a couple of days in Seoul. But so far, we've done a lot. I'm pretty sure we visited around six districts, which is pretty cool. Out of all of them, my favorites 
have to be the neighborhood of Songsu, Hongdae, and I actually really enjoy Myeongdong in Jungle. Even though everyone says it's super touristy, it's just really nice. Like having a hostel smack bang in the middle of a really lively area was just a really cool experience to come home I'm to. I'm still yet to visit Jongnogu, which I'll be doing when I come back. I'm actually staying there, but that's where like there's some palaces there, there's some Hanok cafes. So I'll do that when we get back. But for now, we're going to Busan, and I'm gonna go visit my family. Two hours later and we're in Busan. Onjana gay saw some hair, more than get a tongue I got. Feels like they dream may no I sit down. Man, I love my life set a change. I'm with my family. <laughs> 안녕하세요. 저는 에델센입니다. 만나서 반가워요. 얼마나서 반갑 반갑습니다. 반갑습니다. <웃음> <웃음> 이거 주세요. 어디 있는지 잘 모르겠어요. Like you asking where is it? Is it here? Oh nice. We're gonna eat some shabu shabu. This is my favorite shabu shabu. Yeah. It's so yummy. <웃음> And now we've got some noodles. Some some broccoli. Yeah. Yeah, proper noodles here. We are in Hyundai Beach, and we're gonna go up this building here in Guangali and I want to give a little tour of this space because it's so cute it's an Airbnb this is the entrance it's got an electronic key lock like a lot of apartments here in South Korea and then you turn around and you've got the hallway this is the bathroom which is pretty cute it's all of these cupboards to make use of the small space you like press on it and it opens up which is really cool and then around here it's the little kitchen and it's got a laundry as well. So definitely like mini home vibes and I love it. And then we've got the lounge space and I'm actually gonna be sleeping right here on the floor, Korean style with the mattresses. So this will be fun. Just got these stairs. <laughs> But it's so cute. My brother did a really good job finding this Airbnb. It's in a really good location, um, just right by the beach. So. Anyways, let's go eat. I'm hungry. I wasn't feeling the vibes at Hyundai, so I just decided to like take a train back here. I think it's so much cooler here. I don't know. Let's go find somewhere local to eat. It's so cool to be here with my family, by the way. It's such a fun, fun time. I've missed them, so... Do you 
we're at Gumchun village. It's like a, a hilly little old village town. So we have to look up this way, but as you're walking in, there's some like souvenir stores, some food, some snacks you can grab. decided to get a little snack. I'm gonna get those french fries over there. And then there's a marshmallow around this ice cream. Oh, I touched it, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> there's ice cream and then it's surrounded by marshmallow. Not french fries, french fries. They're not french fries. What is this? It's like it's made out of a fruit. Cafe latte hut. I'm gonna get this set. There's so many souvenir stops at the top of the Gumchun village. In this entire street, you come up it, there's all these shops, coffee. All right, we're making our way down. It's so freaking pretty. Even through these nooks, they've got some little shops. I think this is handmade jewelry. to do here I thought it was just like in a tourist attraction where you come and then you have a look and then you leave but there's so much to do here there's cafes in little nooks that you wouldn't even expect cafes to be in it's really cool and I know why everyone comes here it's very nice we're gonna make a flip book <laughs> for 10,001. We're waiting. The plan is you'll be like down and then you'll pop up. One. And then two. <laughs> and then I'll be like three. And then Jason will be four. And then Craig will be five. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, wait. I need to prepare better. That's so good. And the last thing I want to do is this postcard. I'm writing one to mum and dad, one to myself in the so future. So you write on your postcards mm -hmm. and then you can choose a date that you want it to get sent out. It takes around 8 to 20 days. So you got to pre, like, send it. <laughs> To Biff Square, this is where all like street food markets are. I had to get a dalgona. I just bit it, it tastes like crunchy chocolate. So the honeycomb and crunchy chocolate. <laughs> Mountain Observatory. I 
waited for the sunset and it is stunning. That was so pretty. It was only a 20 minute taxi drive up from like down the mountain. We do have a problem though. Apparently not a lot of taxis are willing to come back up to pick you up. Everyone that is here has brought their own car up. So we're gonna figure that out and then I'll let you know what the goal is. In 10 years you go, remember the time we got stuck in the mountain? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, this is a memory. Okay, so we walked down for around 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Apparently there's a bus stop here, but we've tried the Kakao taxi app and no one's accepting the call. So hopefully if my sister-in-law can book us a taxi from their end, then it might work. Taxi to the rescue. Got some lockers for our shoes. I'm number 848, so this place is like two mm. stories high with a bunch of rooms we can go into. Spa, sauna. First stop, outdoor foot bath. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna bring you on the experience. A jacket to keep you warm like this. It's really cold right now, but the water is looking super nice, so let's go. is the hardwood charcoal room. It's 64 degrees in there. One thing about South Korea is you have to return your own food a lot of the times, right? Like the cafes here and stuff. There's always like these return stations. So at the end, part of the experience is a bath and they have like hair dryers with lotions, creams, everything. Anyways, I really love that experience and it was only $13. Like I think I paid $12 to $13 for the entry. You get to stay for four hours. The food is extra, it's on top, but yeah. Very good and I highly recommend We're officially solo and we're also officially in Seoul. Feel like falling deeper, caught a nice stand on the This is my final accommodation. I'm currently staying in the district of Cheongno, which also includes like Bukchon Village, Insadong, Iksandong. I'm excited to explore this area because apparently it gives more of like a traditional feel, which I didn't visit while I was in Seoul the last time. So I'm excited to explore this area a little bit more. I've got two more nights and three days. So I'm actually going to be vlogging that for next week. So I'm going to close the video out here. I feel like this one's going to be a bit of a long one. Long one? Was that? Did that sound weird? We stayed in Seoul for the first few days where I think we visited around six districts, which was a good effort. And then obviously we had a little bit of a family moment in Busan and now I'm having a solo moment last few days in Seoul. So I'll see you guys next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this travel vlog. It's been so fun. It feels like it's been so long. Like 
more than a week. It feels like I've been here for a long time, so it's really good. But love you guys. <laughs>